Hey there, game makers, and welcome to the third of, well, making a platformer in Game Maker. And today we're going to do the double jump. We're not going to do this thing here because we can get stuck in the moving platform. So this is a little bit more complicated and more convoluted. So therefore, we need a state machine to keep the code. Well, next time a little bit more organized because uh, it's getting a little out of hand and then it will look definitely neater next time. So today we're just going to do the double jump, which is hopefully trivial. Alrighty, so this is where we left off last time. So just this part here is, uh, well, we have ground below us. So we just say on ground and then we press the space key. And then we're just flying a little bit upwards. And then of course, um, if we have no ground below us, well, we're adding to fly speed, and then we're falling down. So technically what we can do is say, and have a variable which is called has double jump. And then of course, if we are on the ground, we reset it each time. And then, well, if we have it, we can say like, hey, in the air, do we have actually a double jump? Well, then enable us once to do the double jump and then we can recycle a little bit of the code. So we can just take this one here and then plug it in and then say like, hey, we double jumped because we pressed again. Um, this is not going to work very good, uh, <laughs> almost at all, because, um, well, we can just try it out and I'll show you. So we just jump in. Oh, interesting. What's happening? Ah, because we have to reset it to false. So here we had infinite jumping. My bad. So here once again. So nothing is happening. But basically we're jumping and then instantly we do the double jump again. And therefore the kind of power of having a jump, let's say mid-air once again, is kind of evaporated. So we need artificially to block input or block input after a, a time and then we can trigger the um, double jump. So how do we do this? Well, with, with a variable, but of course here times are um, what you want to have. So for example here, let's say 20, so basically one third of a second we can actually enable it. So here uh, we just take this timer and then for example, if we are in the air, we just minus minus it. And then at some point it is below zero. So and is smaller than zero, then we can actually check for an input and then we can actually double jump. But of course, of course we need to reset it once we land it because then uh, this would make no sense. And then this is pretty much the same code. So here, once again, resetting to true that we have a jumper and then the timer. So it's like one third of a second, so the 20 steps. And then once we are in the air, the timer runs down. Then once it is below zero, then we can reactivate it. And then, well, we can, you know, activate our double jump. So here I'm just holding the spacebar key. So for automatically or whenever you want to do. So basically this system works beautifully, as you can see, pretty fine. So that's pretty much it. The whole thing about double jumps works out of the box. That's the cool thing. And that's pretty much it. Have a good one. One up indie.